Okay, the question for today's video is, can we in Ando get a move up and can we actually argue that we are going to reach in that move to somewhere around a dollar, potentially even a bit higher. So in today's video, we are going to check out Ando in like very short term and we are going to see what is happening in this area and what are the possible scenarios. But before that, hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you are having a great time with your family and loved ones. And hopefully in today's video about Ando, you are going to receive some decent information about what might be the next possible move. So let's dive in and see what is going on. And in the mid to long term, if you don't know it, I should tell you, I am actually very much bullish in order. You see, I'm thinking that in this bull run, starting from the lowest low and ending to somewhere around this all time high around, let's say one and a half dollars, we are having most likely an A, B, C in form of a zigzag structure on the upside. And the subwaves for an ABC zigzag should be like this. One, two, three, four, five up into a correction for wave B. Maybe ABC, maybe WXY, maybe even a triangle, maybe even, you know, WXYZ in form of a triple zigzag doesn't really matter that much. And then we are going to have another five up into wave C. Let's go on the live chart and count some waves. So this is, in my opinion, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave up to about this point into a correction for wave B, as you can see, in form of an A, B, C, D, E, a triangle structure. And then we are having another 5 wave on the upside to about the highest tie in here into our C leg. Followed by that, I think there's a very, very high chance that we are going to have a correction structure on the outside. And if you want to argue that the bottom is going to be in right in here, okay, I guess you can find a WXY probably in form of a double zigzag in this region here is our first abc down into wave w abc up a correction for wave x and from this high you can find another abc zigzag as you can see with all the subwaves so we can actually argue in ando that the bottom is going to be in but we're not going to be at least at the moment completely 100 bullish now do we have also some other reasons to be maybe a bit more optimistic in Ondo? Yes, you see, if you want to argue, for example, we're going to have our final bottom around this area. Maybe this is going to be like a very important support. Well, okay, then off of the lowest low in this region, you need to be able to find in terms of Elliott waves. Again, if you want to be bullish, a five wave impulsive structure on the upside. And let's go on the live chart. There we go. Let's actually go on some lower time frames, maybe H1, and see what is going on in here. So, this point about 50 cents is the lowest low, and off of it, I do think that we are having a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave up. And when we were somewhere around these areas, if you remember, I was telling you, look, this is probably a correction structure down in form of an ABC flat. And if you remember this line, this was a bullish divergence that we had between the price action. And I think it was MACD at that point. And I was saying, as long as this divergence is not broken, chances are that we are going to get some more big moves on the upside in Ando. And as you can see, we got our move up now. In the previous video, specifically, if you remember, we were somewhere around these areas and i was saying well okay if we want to be bullish there is a very very high chance this move up is not over yet and we are going to continue this move but in it this very important point we said we shouldn't take this look right in here and as you can see we didn't and continued our move on the upside so i'm going to argue this is definitely a bullish sign now in terms of elliot waves let's do a quick count in here and see what is going on here is what i have in my mind i'm thinking maybe this is going to be from here, maybe, sure. By wave up into a wave one, ABC, a correction structure down into wave two. And from here, we are having probably a one, two, three, four, five wave on the upside to about this point, maybe into wave three, correction for four. And probably this is going to be another move up into wave five. Now, on a high degree, if we are actually bullish in Ando, and I think we might be, we can actually say, you know what, this is going to be, five up into one correction for wave two big move up into wave three and there's a decent chance that the current move down is just going to be a correction structure into wave four and after it's over we might actually see another move on the upside into wave five and for the recent move down right in here let's go on 30 minute chart and see can we find some clues and see what is going on in here let's zoom in more okay so 
I'm thinking this might be like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave down and maybe it's going to be into an A leg and then we're going to have correction for wave B and another move down into our C leg, something like this. Again, just a correction of structure and after it's over, we might continue our move on the upside. Now, overall, if we are actually very, very bullish in Ando and the bottom is actually in, well, this is a very important structure that you need to be aware of it, you see. I'm thinking that according to the bullish possibility, this is going to be one, two, and this is going to be most likely a huge, huge move on the upside into wave three. And then we're going to have correction for four, another move up into wave five. And I am willing to bet that just in this move right in here, we are actually going to at least, at least reach to somewhere around a dollar, probably even more than that. So one dollar target in like very very short time maybe in the next week or two in my opinion is definitely a possibility now what is going on in terms of classic technical analysis meaning supports and resistances because i think we can actually have some better ideas there you see in terms of classic ta we are having a very important resistance area which is from daily and weekly time frame at the same time and it is going to be somewhere between 80 to about 80 three and a half cents right in here now here's the deal if you want to say that this region is broken what you need to see is a move up in order to get back above this level and then pull back and followed by that a continuation of this move up in order to take this high right in here and if i just zoom in a bit more okay can we say that in this structure we actually got a break of the resistance in my opinion no you can say that this is our initial move up, but okay, as you can see, we didn't have a pullback and then a continuation of this move in order to take this side. So for all we know, this is going to be just a very simple fake out. But I'm thinking if in terms of Elliott waves, this scenario is going to be in play, well, we are probably soon going to get a break of this level. And this is a very important point. If we get a break of this thing, above it i just do not believe that we are having a whole lot of strong resistances until somewhere around you guessed it right one to one point one dollars right in here so if we get a break of this resistance chances are that our move up is going to continue i'm thinking in quite a sharp way in order to reach to somewhere around the next level above one dollar so break this region next target is definitely going to be around a dollar again just for the short term overall i told you I am very, very bullish in Ando, and I do believe that in the long term, we are having, like we talked about before, an ABC on the upside, and that is going to be most likely into a wave W, something like this, and then we are going to have a correction stretch down into wave X, and after our correction is over, or maybe, according to the bullish scenario that we talked about earlier, it's actually over already, we are going to at least have another big move up into our wave buy, and the minimum target for this move is going to be setting an all-time high and taking the high side right in here around let's say one and a half dollars and our move up into our way by most likely is going to be in form of an a b c zigzag structure now this was in terms of the long-term price action in the short term i told you there's a decent chance that we might see another move up soon but just to make sure that we are going to indeed get a move up maybe it's going to be best for you to wait a bit more and see what is going to happen to bitcoin right in here and if you are a new viewer i should tell you that in bitcoin overall i am absolutely bullish but in like very very short time meaning in the next couple of weeks we may have a bit of a different story because i'm thinking that this move up might be in form of a correction structure and after this small move is over we are going to get maybe another move on the downside in bitcoin now the invalidation point for this bearish scenario in the short term is going to be taking this high in bitcoin around 70k that's why i would like to argue that if you want to make sure that ando is going up to somewhere around at least eight dollar in the short term you need to maybe wait a bit more and see are we going to get this move up in bitcoin in order to reach above 70k or not if we get this thing fair enough we are going to be very much bullish in ando with quite a lot of confidence and finally let's also do a quick check on indicators in ando and see what is going on let's actually go on weekly time frame and start from here let's zoom in more and hide everything there we go so what is happening in stock rsi as you can see 
we are having now a confirmed buy signal and this happened somewhere around the oversold region which is in my opinion a great sign that suggests you know what probably this move up is going to continue for quite a bit and again one dollar target seems very very reasonable in the short term and in daily time frame what is happening okay we are having a sell signal in stock rsi and a buy signal in macd so like i told you earlier and since elliot waves also suggest saying there is a chance that we may get in here some more moves on the outside but again seems like that this move is going to be a correction structure and this buy signal in macd after this move down is over is going to do the job and probably send us up and again your eyes should be on this very very important resistance area between 80 81 to about 83 and a half 84 cents if we get a break of this thing above it i don't believe that we are having a whole lot of strong resistances and that's why i want to argue that from here the next target is going to be at least at least around a dollar so i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in on those price charts anyway if you found any value in my content i would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on twitter and if you want more maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto or maybe you want to learn some solid ta in order to be able to make good money in the markets and you want to have access to the technical analysis course videos you can become a member and ask me anything you want and until the next video i hope you have a great time with your family and loved ones goodbye